Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of Blazor. Uh, that is how to use query string parameter in Blazor. So this is the simple video tutorial. Uh, so in the last video tutorial, uh, you have to see in uh, uh, how uh, to show uh, mock data or you can say uh, how to use uh, components. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to use parameters. Uh, so add a new razor components in your uh, project so and also add that type of directory like page when you get any request or you uh, when you do any request in the in the sense of the parameters looking like this it's employee detail that is the page name and id is the parameter name so also add a base class that is the employee detail uh, base and that uh, class is also must to inherit the component base class okay so component base class and that is available in microsoft.asp.net asp.net core dot components now after that you can use employee uh, type of variable or you can say that just copy and paste that code in your employee detail page if you want to see uh, that uh, code how to create it so just go to the previous video and you ha you have to check it so in this video uh, just resolve that uh, things employee and here we have the code and just I want to use the query string parameter so you can use uh, the single value you want to get of the employee so only the one employee you want to get according to their ID property so just use public employee employee and in which you can add uh, that type of code uh, just you want to retrieve the employee employee equals to employees dot first default where id in the url or you can say in the parameters so x dot uh, id is double equals to int dot parse if you have to uh, use uh, id as an integer there is no need to uh, add that int dot parse you can say any conversion but if you have to use uh, id as a string type so must to use int dot parse so you can use prop parameter in the data notations so you can use parameter okay and after that you can use the id property uh, like id okay uh, so uh, just you can you have to check it int dot parse is not properly so you can use string it here okay now in the razor base how to uh, get the detail of the employee so you can easily get the uh, detail of employee by their id property so here you can use id and in this page you have to use a single employee you want to get it uh, according to their id property so at the rate of employee is not get because uh, you are not inject uh, the base class in this page so you cannot access uh, the public property of the page so you can use inherits keyword at the rate of inherits and employee detail base base class okay employee detail base okay and uh, at the rate of employee dot oops employee dot name now in the razor page of the previous video you have to add that types of code like action and another uh, column you have to add like a href is a hyperlink or uh, you can say the button when you click on that button you get the employee uh, uh, 
as a y is the parameter okay so at the rate of symbol mm, dollar sign uh, you want to use uh, id in the curly brackets okay so guys this is the simple thing uh, you can add a blazer and a blazer app is much a uh, wonderful app or you can say uh, application or platform uh, you can design server as well as the client side applications so uh, after that uh, we will show you how to use that types of application in client side uh, how to prepare client side blazer app okay so you can easily add uh, a href control in uh, employee overview um, class uh, when we click on that button uh, uh, on your uh, you can say uh, detail uh, button then uh, that uh, um, anchor tag will go to the next page that is employee detail page and uh, uh, also with the uh, id property uh, with their item dot id property okay so this thing is good uh, in a blazer and uh, looking like this a okay. and here you can add the detail text much better okay also change the class of the uh, anchor tag that is the uh, button and button is a primary button so button primary okay uh, now save this and you have to check your outputs the first page will render to employee overview where you got uh, two uh, two uh, values according to their employee list and when we click on the detail there is id and you can say the query string parameter that is one and two so thank you guys for uh, watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to blazer in esp.net core and learn better programming from my channel thank you very much for watching